My name is Botswana. My name is Botswana Wabantu. You can call me Hamish. That's my other name. Let's get started. Without further ado, if you face time here, please do subscribe, like the video, share to a lot of people. Let's get started. Look, uh, go to my Instagram before we get started, man, or some other time. Check what we do for the community. We give back to the communities, okay? Okay? We give back to the community, inspire community, you know? Uh, we have a feeding program with the little that we have. They say giving back is not necessarily that you must be billionaire, right? We just give back what we have. It could be time, it could be knowledge, it could be inspiration. Go to my Instagram, this and they see what we do. Let's get started. So, we have a two questions right here. This one here and that one. Let me start with the question, the five at the bottom, and then when I finish, I'm going to go to the five at the top, okay? Very easy. They said diamond ring, so you got your diamond ring, like, hey, I want to go and get my girlfriend or my, my baby because, you know, I want to engage to her, get married and whatever. So they say both a number of years for that one. Oh. So say, okay, this is a price for diamond of ring. Let's buy it. The value of ring increased by 4%. Means when you buy something, means the price of whatever you buy is 100%. But it increased by 4%. So what that means? Now, they say answer the following question. Determine the exponential function. Uh, describe the value of the ring after t years. No, this is very easy. Oh my god, it's very so. We're gonna say, look how I'm gonna do. So, look how I'm gonna construct this question, right? So, you also get to understand. Diamond ring, okay? Diamond ring. So, let's say value of a diamond equal, but value of diamond equal with time. It increases time goes according to the information right here. So you buy this diamond for 31, 3180, one, just one, and then comma o dot double zero in the bracket. How did I say? The value of the ring increases by four percent. Means the value it was actually hundred percent, but increased by four percent. But all that depends on the number of years or time. So the time we're going to put here on top is exponential because it's exponential function. They say here, it's a man, the exponential function. So what we're going to do here, we can simply put together. What we're going to put together, let's add 100 plus 4. 100 plus 4 is 104. So this question is going to become 3180.00104% bracket T. So 104% we can put it in the calculator. So, so the value of a diamond but remember it's all depending on the number of years that's why i put bracket here t number of years so it's going to be 3180.00 just say 80 if you don't want to put that now 104 in decimal let me show how you can put it so 104 in decimal 100 ooh, 104 and then shift t and then you go to your decimal okay you go to decimal and they say that's gonna be 1.04. Let's go. Equal to get answer, get answer. Okay, then you can say SP. So the answer which is in fraction. So let's put in decimal is gonna be. Mm, let's get decimal. Decimal 1.04. Okay, so then we say well, so instead of writing that we can say 1.04 power. So if you can look careful here, we see uh, either we know this is gonna be wrong, and this is gonna be wrong. Uh, it could be this or this because one hundred four. Even this one is one point zero four. So now we wanna see. Okay, so is it gonna be this one or it's gonna be this one or it's gonna be the, no? This one can not be because it's not I like at all or the last one. But so this could be the uh, okay. Then let's write here. So it's a VT equal to that one. Okay, let's do this. Let's see that one we got. Uh, nah, that color is not good. But hey, I think you can see. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, well, let me write here. So it's a VT. Oh, no, 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 no. What am I doing now? So it's a VT, value of diamond, which goes with time equal to the 180. And then we say 1.04 power t. But the, 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 so because if you can look careful here, excuse me, in the equation, 
This is describe part one. Describe the exponential function. We we'll discuss the value of the ring after t years. So this is the equation. Now, the second part they say is the value of the ring in nine years. What does that mean? Our time t represent number of years. So now we're gonna play. We're gonna replace this t with nine years. So we're gonna say v. Instead of say this t is gonna be nine years. Equal to the one eighty point zero zero bracket one point zero four and then you're gonna say what nine. So we can simply plug in the calculator see which is value is gonna be correct. So okay, let's not say zero and then we're gonna see well thirty one thirty one eighty zero point zero zero and they say bracket bracket one point zero four one point zero four in the bracket we go exponential number nine that exponential means the one on top there okay close the bracket and then exponential see to enter the top okay so we're gonna put nine here because they say after nine years. Okay, after nine years, let's see how much. So after nine years, is gonna give us. I'm just waiting for the calculator to respond. Oh my God! I'm gonna put silence here. Sorry, my dude. My family. Sorry. Okay. So it's gonna be four five twenty six. So if you can look uh, four five four five. 26. Did I say nine years or six years? The man the value of the ring in nine years after it was bought. Nine years after it was bought. Okay, um the 180 bracket 1.04, 1.04, and then nine years. But it's not option there. Uh it seems it's the last option, my call it the last option. I'm sorry. So if you can look careful here, we see the last option is the correct. And, oh my god, so so I'm gonna select it. So the last option is just to be correct answer. Okay? Because we get let, let's see again, let's see again the calculator. Uh for the five twenty six, for the five twenty six point thirteen, yeah, the last option. So if you can look the exponential function is this one here. Now, this after nine years, it gave us that one. So it's going to be the option number four. Now, let's go to the uh, question number, similar question we had, but they ask me other way around. I want to see your thinking process. Look, look how easy it is. Now, they say a, vo a value of the car when it's new is 22,000 okay so say value of the car um okay so i can just simply do this for i can do this let's remove this for one minute okay so value of the car so value of the car when it's new is to means initial it's 24 so i'm going to say two two four one two three point zero zero but they mention is it estimated the value of the car will decrease oh so the actual value when you buy the car when you have a car is hundred percent but it's gonna decrease that's what minus by what by eleven percent but all this based on number of years now determine the exponential functions which is this one I just did it now but we can minus hundred minus ninety nine so we're gonna say value of in time of years go 22 4 double triple zero point zero zero and then 100 minus 11 is going to be 80 9 89.0 percent power t so what we can do uh we can simply plug in the calculator 89 percent and see what we're going to get because here if you're looking at uh yeah in the kelp in 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 the option you only have a in decimal 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 so this one. 89 over 100 okay 89 percent so you can simply say here you come uh cancel 89 80 9 let's say shifting 
percent eighty nine. No, 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 I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Okay, eighty nine. Eight nine. Is it equal to? We finish now. Leave a comment, right? Let me know where you come from and tell me if this video is very helpful, right? So I can continue making video like this. So this is gonna be zero point eight nine. Oh, so this is gonna be V T equal to two two four one two three point zero zero. And it's going to be 0 0.89 power t okay now we're not done yet so now they say now determine the value for six cars six car so now for the phase one this is going to be the answer now value for six cars we want to see which is going to give us six car here. so now we're going to say two two four plug in the calculator for six means it's going to be b b for six so you can say vt or you can say six Equal to two two one two three point zero 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 point eight nine power six cars. So let's plug it in and see those six cars, okay? So we're gonna cancel this and say zero, and then we're gonna say two 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 four, and then how many zeros? Three one two three, and then we'll say bracket, and then we're gonna say zero. Point eight nine. We're gonna close the bracket and the power. Remember, that's a power, right? You say power, you come in a power, power but instead of t now. I mean, this t here is a power. We're gonna place for how for what they say six cars. So let's kind of place six cars here. Say six. Okay, now give it an answer. Oh, I made a mistake. Let's see, maybe bracket. I want to see where did I make a mistake. Oh, more brackets. So we don't need one bracket. So move one bracket here. Yes, this is correct. Now say equal to. I'm just waiting for this to give answer. Equal, equal, equal. Get the answer, baby. Get the answer. Give the answer right now, okay? So one 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 thirty two. So if you can look careful, one one. Okay, so we get uh, v t equal if t equal to six is gonna be equal to one 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 thirty two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One 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 thirty two thirty two three eighty three eighty three eight nine two three. Eighty two. So if you can look careful, this could be the answer. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, no, no, this cannot be the answer. The answer is going to be here. You know why? Because this is zero point eight eight and zero point eighty nine. So zero point eight nine. Why? Because it was decreasing, not increasing. This is the increasing one. It's like let's say hundred plus eleven percent, which is not because for now in our equation it was decreasing. So for that case, that's going to be option number two. Option number two is going to be our answer for this case. Option number two is our answer. And for that we say, that is way easy, okay? And then, easy, man. Subscribe, share this video to a lot of people, and I'll see you very soon for more videos.